So to embed a single Instagram post to your WordPress website without a plugin, you just need to head to the page or a post you want to update. So for example, I'm here in pages and I want to update, let's say the home page here. I have it open here. And this doesn't matter if you're using Elementor or any other page builder, it will work exactly the same way. So for example, in Elementor, if I scroll down here and I want to, let's say I want to add it here. So I have here already section and I come here and search for widgets and I'm going to look for HTML and just drag it out here. So you have the HTML block here and now go to Instagram and whatever post you want to add, click on these three dots and then just click on an embed. You could include the captions if you want to, or if you want to keep it more minimalistic, you can re remove that and then just click on copy embedded code, go back to your page. And now in the HTML code, we're going to paste this inside. Now you'll notice that this is kind of placed now on the left. I don't want that. So this is what you can add center. And you can see that at least Elementor automatically adds center, center, and there's the forward slash. So just copy this part. You can see that there's this closing brackets and then let's cut it. And we need to take this one and just place it at the bottom of this page like this center. And now it moves to the center. Let's click on publish. And now if I go and view this page, you can see that this post is now here at the bottom. By the way, I'm Robert. And if you need trustworthy help with your WordPress website, then check out our services. The link will be first link in the video description. Now you notice how big it is. I would like to make it a little smaller. So you come back to the page and here at the top of the code, you need to find there's this max width. It's usually at the top here. So it says 540 now, let's say 400. You can see that it adjusts the size here. If I make it 300, it should get smaller and smaller like this. So if I update this and go and see it on my website, you can see it's much smaller now. Now you know how to embed a single post to your website, but, but if you want to embed the full feed, then you need to use a plugin. And there's just so many plugins that you'll waste a lot of time if you pick the wrong one. So that's why you should just watch this tutorial right here where I'll show you how to do it.